I've found this happening a lot, where the stories of my childhood only get better with age. The Magic Roundabout is one such story which I watched countless times when I was younger. To an innocent five-year-old, it's a fun-filled adventure quest complete with talking animals, but clearly the filmmakers were also catering to the parents. Nothing will grow, not even grass. <laughs> okay, people, we, we got a problem. Hey, man, give piece a chance. Get up on the roof and dispose of the prisoner. Dispose of a prisoner? Can't do that, sir. Geneva Convention. <laughs> Adult humour. Pop culture references and drug metaphors flew right over my head until re-watching The Magic Roundabout, aged 19. For this reason, I have absolutely no shame in revisiting these nostalgic stories. Your perspective has changed, and a revisit of these films a few years down the line can result in a thoroughly entertaining and unique viewing experience. <laughs> No, Sam, it's all in the back of the throat. The back of the throat. VGHS, Blade Runner, and The Magic Roundabout are all fairly contemporary or even futuristic. So I think it's also interesting to mention period pieces, wherein this exploration of the past extends beyond my childhood towards the times in which these stories took place. I am fascinated by the aesthetic of the old and what growing up would be like as one of the Pevensey siblings in the Chronicles of Narnia. The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe has this incredible ability, making you yearn to have grown up amongst that plucky gang of brothers and sisters. Narnia is all about adventuring into the imaginary worlds we created as children, worlds which we must eventually grow out of in exchange for adventures into the real world. Lucy is doubted when she tells her siblings about the magic of Narnia. But the truth is, these childhood worlds, stories and adventures are real to the extent that they are part of what has made us who we are today. We hold on to these memories and experiences as we venture further into our lives. There's definitely some media I don't feel this same strong nostalgic connection to. The games I never stop playing, and the movies I still revisit regularly. They are still forming and strengthening their place in my childhood, and I'll be interested to see whether they hold all the more nostalgia because of this, or if they've already far outstayed their welcome. <laughs>